The two and a half degree change that we can expect by 2050 could prove decisive for the survival of a large number of animals and plants native to Britain. And a place likely to see dramatic changes is the Scottish Highlands. Professor Des Thompson works for Scottish Natural Heritage. In mountains we have a number of highly specialised species, birds and plants that are supremely adapted to very cold, wet, windy conditions. And with climate change, these conditions will change and these habitats and species will contract or disappear as a result of that. One of the species thought to be at risk in Scotland is the ptarmigan, a bird so adapted to its landscape that it actually turns white every winter. But with our model predicting less winter snow for 2050, scientists fear that not only will the ptarmigan's white plumage make it vulnerable to predators, but the plants and insects it feeds on could also disappear. Snow actually protects a lot of plants as a sort of cover, as a duvet, believe it or not, for some very rare mosses and ferns. Now imagine the horror when the snow's gone that much earlier. The food plants they expected to find aren't there. More critically, the insects. If the ptarmigan hasn't got these conditions, the ptarmigan can't nest. So when a particular population stops nesting, that population starts to crash. And the ptarmigan isn't the only species facing an uncertain future in Scotland. This is the breathtaking sight of Atlantic salmon battling their way upriver to lay their eggs. On the river Blackwater, Simon McKelvey and his team have been recording their annual migration. We're standing next to a burn here which we've been monitoring for more than 10 years now. And one thing that we've noticed here is that after very sudden flash floods, the salmon population has crashed. The reason for these losses is the sudden downpours of rain that Scotland is beginning to suffer more often. I'm standing on a bank of gravel here which has just recently been deposited. This gravel was washed down within the last week. So you can see how loose and unstable this is. Now, salmon were probably spawning just upstream from here, and this sort of gravel is the kind of habitat the salmon would have been spawning in. So any eggs that were laid in this gravel before it was washed out would have been killed. With our computer model predicting even more heavy downpours for Scotland in years to come, Simon expects things to get significantly tougher for the salmon population. If we were to see these sort of events becoming more frequent by 2050, I wouldn't anticipate that we're looking at extinction events, but we're looking at populations be becoming more uncertain and varying more from year to year. Going home! Going home! Going home! Guys. Alan Stewart runs a team of sled dogs in the Cairngorms for racing and Going tourism. And about five or six years ago, we used to get around about two and about three weeks of snow at this level. But now, uh, say in the last, last year, I had about three days of snow at this level. And his dogs are noticing the change too. This is Rowdy, and Rowdy is a three and a half year old Alaskan Husky. Hey, mate, come on out, here's my boy. Come on and see me, come on, come on pup. As you can see, Rowdy is molting big time at the moment, and this would never happen two years ago all my Siberians and Alaskans are molting, uh, and I've never seen this before over the last 18 years. Things have got so bad that the only way Alan can now keep his dogs cool enough to race is by showering them down before and after every run. Everything stares you in the face when you live in an environment like this. I see a lot of difference going on in the last few years, and it affects my dogs and it affects their way of life. Then you start really talking about it and wondering what's going on.